this video is about the remaining part of Cayley's theorem for group so here in the in a previous video we have learned how to we have proved TA is a linear transformation of capital V now we are going to prove what they are asked in the statement that is A is isomorphic to the subalgebra of E of V so here to prove that isomorphism we have to define a mapping first so here is the mapping define psi from a to a of v by a psi is equal to t a for all a belongs to our algebra a now we, ha we are going to prove this psi is an isomorphism to a into a v to prove this psi is an isomorphism we have to prove three things that is we have to say this psi is a ring homomorphism and then psi is on to and also we we will prove psi is 1 1 to prove psi is 1 1 we will say kernel psi is equal to kernel psi is equal to singleton 0 to prove 1 1 it is enough to prove kernel psi is equal to singleton so 0 these are this is all you are going to do now so first we are going to prove psi is a ring homomorphism so that is to prove to prove ring homomorphism we have to prove these two conditions that is tab is equal to ta into tb and the second condition is ab into psi is equal to a psi into b psi. these condition if you prove these two conditions then psi is a ring homomorphism uh, will be proved okay so that is what you are going to do now first consider you are considering the left hand side but with the left hand side that you have in the here you are considering this left hand side but you are considering with b also okay b of tab you are considering like that so b of tab is equal to this can be written like this b into ab you are writing this by this definition which definition by this de definition what you are going to do is in, in the further steps I don't turn pages like this I will say by star equation and this uh, this is star star equation okay okay mark this as star and this is star star okay okay here you are writing this by star equation <laughs> now <coughs> you are putting bracket to these two terms in the next step and now we got v a into b now by star you can write v into t a into b now this can be written as t a bring t a keep t a alone and uh, keep this to v and b inside the bracket you can make these adjustments then t a of b b can be written like this by star star equation and this can be written sorry now you are bringing this v to outside so that you will get this step now uh, from the left hand side you will cancel this v and the, from the right hand side you will cancel this v so the next line you will get tab is equal to ta into tb now you have proved the first condition of homomorphism now we are passing on to prove the second condition of homomorphism here you can see the second condition of homomorphism take the left hand side of that condition ab into psi is equal to tab from where you have proved this you have wrote it from star star equation okay now this can be written like this ta into tb okay ta into tb that is you are writing this by condition uh, by the first condition of homomorphism you are writing this step to this step now this can be written like this by star star condition okay star star condition you can write from this step to this step so you have proved the two conditions of homomorphism therefore here psi is a ring homomorphism you have proved now you are not proving on to condition you are just writing clearly psi is on to okay 
and the next line to prove psi is 1 1 to prove psi is 1 1 it is enough to prove kernel psi is equal to singleton 0 to prove this what you are doing is you are taking an element from this kernel psi that is a and at the end you will say that the value of a is equal to 0 so from that you can say kernel psi is equal to singleton 0 that is what we are going to do now so you are taking an element from kernel psi let a belongs to kernel psi so from this can by the definition of kernel psi you can write like this a psi equal to 0 implies a psi can be written like this by star star equation and from this step to this step you are you can write like this by star equation now in our second line of this proof we have b equal to a so that is what you are rewriting that step here again since b is equal to a a has a unit element that means here in the statement itself they have given you a we have an unit element over the field if you are using this sentence here okay a has a unit element the unit element is e usually the unit element is one okay here you are taking it as e the value of e is one that is what the meaning so a has a unit element therefore e belongs to e. a is having a unit element that unit element is e so e belongs to a you can write like this from this line now this can be written like this implies e in, in the place of b you are putting e e into t a is equal to zero now this by from this to, to this step you are writing by star equation now this can be written like this because the i told you e is a unit element the value of unit element is one therefore from this step to this step you can write like this so you got in the beginning you took a belongs to kernel pi and now you got a equal to zero therefore from this you can write kernel psi is equal to zero so you proved all the conditions uh, to say a is isomorphic to a of b so hence the proof